Hello, my name is Osamu Dohi. It's my pleasure to introduce Dr. Atsushi Majima from Kyoto Prefectural University of Medicine, Kyoto, Japan. I'd like to talk about our recent research published in gastrointestinal endoscopy. The title is Linked Calimazine Identifies Important Risk Factors Associated with Gastric Cancer After Successful H. pylori Education. Thank you, Dr. Dohin. And first of all, I'm pleased to have this opportunity to be interviewed about our recent research published in gastrointestinal endoscopy. This is the first question. Why did you conduct this study? Well, recent studies show that gastric cancer was detected even after successful H. pylori eradication. So, follow-up endoscopic observation for surveillance of gastric cancer is indispensable. To perform effective endoscopic surveillance of gastric cancer, we consider that risk stratification uh, using endoscopic findings of background mucosa is important. Uh, recently, uh, linked color imaging, which is a novel image enhanced endoscopy called LCI, is expected to indicate various endoscopic findings after successful H. pylori eradication more clearly than conventional white light imaging. So we consider that usefulness of risk stratification of gastric cancer using LCI should be investigated. It's nice. Next, could you introduce your study design? Okay, Dr. Dohi. Uh, this slide shows a flowchart of this study. This study is a single-center cross-sectional study Consecutive patients who underwent endoscopic surveillance using both white light imaging and LCI after successful H. pylori eradication were enrolled in this study. Patients with newly detected gastric cancer were classified into CA group and patients without gastric cancer were classified into NC group. We compared endoscopic findings of background mucosa in CA group and NC group. What does your study add to existing knowledge? Uh, previous reports show that presence of atrophy and intestinal metaplasia was a risk for gastric cancer. And it, it has been widely accepted that Evaluating these endoscopic findings is necessary for risk stratification of gastric cancer. This slide shows that identified endoscopic findings with LCI and in CA and NC group in this study. According to our data, severe atrophy and map-like redness were significantly more frequent in CA versus NC. In contrast, RAC, abbreviation for regular arrangement of collecting venues, was significantly less frequent in CA versus NC. In the multivariate analysis, map like redness was significantly associated with the presence of gastric cancer after successful H. pylori eradication, and RAC was significantly associated with the absence of gastric cancer. These results indicated that evaluating map like redness and RAC was also important for risk stratification of gastric cancer. And moreover, uh, as shown in this slide, especially for evaluating map like redness, LCI identified this important findings more clearly than conventional white light imaging. Very nice. What should come next? Uh, as shown in this study and the others, LCI is useful for risk stratification of gastric cancer after successful H. pylori eradication. 
However, detection of gastric cancer is more important. So, usefulness of cancer detection using LCI in a large sample size uh, should be investigated in the future. Thank you. Congratulations. It's a nice paper. Thank you for your interview. And finally, I'd like to thank all the members who contributed this study. Thank you so much.